Hello everybody, my name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about mugs because that's something that I've been picking a lot up lately. Well, I won't say a lot, I've been a little more choosy about them, but I thought this would be a good time to start going back and looking at the mugs that I have sold in the past and taking a look to see what was the winning factor, why did it sell, why did I pick it up, and would that mug have sold today for that price because as you know things change. So I'm hoping that this is going to be something that you know chances are likely this is going to be recurring because I'm not doing a whole bunch of things and these are mugs that I've actually sold so I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. I chose five mugs that I have sold in the past on eBay and I'm going to take a look at those, share those with y'all, tell you what they sold for and see would that have sold today for that same price or is it still a good pickup? Because you know you, you find these bolos, these be on the lookout for type things and as you are as time goes by, things change. For example, the big hug mug was huge for a while there, and it still sells from what I understand. And I found one well after the big, you know, hoorah with it, and mine still sold for a really good price. Anyway, I just chose five at random that have sold, and I wanted to talk to you guys about that. And I am live, and the way I'm going to do this, I'll say hi now. Hi, everybody in the chat. And then at the end, I'm going to jump into the chat and talk to everybody and answer questions. That way, if we have friends that are watching later or if you're watching now, that you're just getting the the gist of the information. And if you're hanging out in the chat, then chat amongst yourselves and, and have fun together. And I'll talk to you in a minute, in a little while. Um, so I do have a lot of new subscribers, so welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're new, my name is Margaret. I have been reselling um, probably, how long? At least five, five or six years. I've been making videos for about that long, not quite as long. And um, most of them have to do with reselling on eBay and Etsy, things that I find from garage sales and thrift stores and estate sales and things like that. So you'll find tons of videos about lots of different topics because that's the amazing thing about reselling is that you can go from selling jewelry to mugs to you get bored with one thing you can do I'm not bored with jewelry but I have to branch out anyway moving on let's jump into this so how I'm doing this I do sell on eBay and Etsy and this so what you will see is Etsy and let me explain why because on eBay, once something is sold, they don't store that information for you infinitely forever, right? Um, because after I think, I, what is it, like 90 days, it just rolls off and it's not, you can't find your, you know, in your solds, like, you can't, it's gone. But with Etsy, it's there, it stays there, right? So um, because I cross post the things that I'm able to, I'm able to go back into Etsy and see what I sold on eBay. And here's how I know. If you see over on the side where, um, so at the top, I sort I sorted my listings by mugs, and then down here you can see where um, the orange dots flicking between sold out and inactive. Sold out would be items that that I sold on Etsy. Inactive would be items that sold on eBay, and then I made them inactive on Etsy. If that didn't make you super confused. Just <laughs> trust me, these are things I sold on eBay. Okay, so the first thing, um, and also I did not do the, I didn't go look it up prior because I wanted to be, I wanted to be just as surprised as you. I wanted it to be, you know, authentic. This is what we're finding out together. Let me scroll this out a little bit more so you get just the information. Okay, so first item, this is something that sold on eBay a while back, and um, it's a, shaving mug and as you can tell by the title this is something well maybe you can't tell but I can tell by the title this is something I sold a while ago because look at how short I made that title um, because now I definitely flesh my titles out and this was something that had been my grandmother's she had a ton of porcelain art stuff and anyway so uh, if you don't know what a shaving mug is it looks like a mug and then it's got like this type of thing in the top sometimes you'll find ones that have like a mustache guard because men, they would like wax their mustaches, and so they didn't want to get their mustaches hot with the hot liquids. Um, so you might find one that has like a little guard with a little mouth hole in it. Um, but this one is a shaving mug. 
Anyway, so so let's see. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm going to come back and talk about that in the chat in the, uh, at the end. All right, so let's take a peek. And I, I am going to do my research on eBay since a, a lot of you guys sell on eBay. Right? How am I going to work this? I guess I'm just going to have to scooch it around whenever I need to. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to search shaving mug. And I might even do vintage because that one was vintage and antique. So I want to find out, do shaving mugs still sell? And I know there's been a lot of stuff with grooming lately, like uh, men with their fancy grooming. <laughs> men and their fancy grooming. Look at them. Okay, so I'm going to select buy it now because generally that's what well, I don't do auctions so I like to look at the buy it now prices and so I'm scrolling down to sold items and let's see what we see as far as shaving mugs go and yeah mustache mugs and shaving mugs there's two different things so I may have had mine completely mislabeled because it's been a while ago Okay, um, so let's take a peek. So these are recently sold. So that's what we have it sorted by up here. So if we wanted to, or in a minute, we can go and, and sort it out. But let's just look at recently sold and see what we've got. So I'm seeing, and if I see, okay, here's an Old Spice one. There's a brush. This has got like a train, $8. This one's kind of cool. This personalized Limoges. Let's look at the at the inside of it so we can see if they have pictures of just so you get the idea of in case there's like a mustache guard on it, you know what I mean? Ah. Hey. Oh, I I think I collect so similar oops. See original. Ah, uh, okay. Let, I want to go look at their pictures is what I'm I'm doing. Okay, so uh, here's what I want to know. How they know? I guess cuz of the base of it. The, the way that there's like a teeny little handle, you know, and then it's got that kind of like base. It's not quite a pedestal, but kind of a pedestal. So I'm guessing that's how they knew it was a shaving mug. Otherwise, I don't know how they would end. So it looks like this Old Spice one, um, what's an Old Spice one too? About $15 on that one. Is it that it? Are we just seeing Old Spice? So here's one that's, okay, an antique one. This one, $18.99, but I want to see like the inside of it real fast, just to make sure. So when you see it, you'll know it, right? Is it just the handle? Oh, no, they've got that divider in it. See, that's got like the little spot for the soap. Like that's what that is. You see that spot there with the like holes in it? I guess that's where they would put the soap and then the liquid iron. I, I'm not a connoisseur of, of men's shaving, but... <laughs> I prefer a well-shaved man, but men shaving. Anyway, we'll get off on side topics. Okay, so it looks like there are some that can do okay. I guess it's that, see on this green one, that kind of little short pedestal? Maybe that's like a giveaway for like a shaving mug, right? I'm going to look in the chat because I have a feeling somebody else. Here's another, must. this is the mustache mug. That's what we were talking about. It's got like a guard on it. So like guard, and then there's like a little hole to open up for your for your drink to come through. So there are a few. This is another one. This like this little side, this one that says La Bar mm, something papa. That is where you'd put the brush off to the side. Uh, like same thing here. That would be probably where you stuck the brush off to the side. Okay, okay. So it looks like from what I'm seeing, these ones like here, um, the Kaiser one, it looks like it says Kaiser on it. I could be saying that wrong where it's got that little foot and then that little round handle. Those ones seem to be doing okay. They're a little more antique looking. Oh, that's interesting. So there are some that could still sell. It looks like, I mean, and to me, especially if I'm getting it for a dollar or less, $17.99 is a fair price for me. $26.99, I like it, you know. These ones are very interesting, $20. Okay, cool. I'm going to go sort these by highest to lowest, and then I'll look in the chat because a lot of times our friends in the chat have got some really good info to share. So let me look. Okay. Um, Jenny says she loves the, the old old shaving mugs do well. Lots of German ones, definitely. Um, thank you. Yeah, some, some of them are mustache, some of them are shaving. Yeah. 
Da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ginny says, I bet there's a YouTube video somewhere that shows how to determine a real shaving mug. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so here we have the price highest to lowest. When I see these kind of prices, I, I think it was probably maybe a deal. Like, put it at a crazy price, and I'll come buy it later. Unless that's real, which I, I don't know. What do you think? $1,300? I mean, I guess look out for these ones that have this kind of gold. It doesn't even look like the same seller. Maybe it is, because look, here's another one. Okay, we're going to click on that. What does that say? Shaving mug, C. Smith porcelain hand painted. Hmm. Interesting. See, there's another one. It's got that little pedestal foot, that little ring, like, handle on it. And these ones, I think it's like you were saying, the uh, German style ones. It's got that font um, that I don't know that it is like old English looking font, right? Okay. Very interesting. I wonder also, because some of the subject matter, like trains, there was another one that had motorcycle, there's a train, locomotive. So, is that a funeral home? Oh, mortician? Yeah, okay, I can see why somebody went. You know, there's a firefighter one. So it might be subject matter as well on the mug. Okay, but so definitely shaving mugs, if you find one that's got that gold font on it, there's some silver ones. I think you would probably see that and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to grab that. But here again, we've got that hand-painted with the gold lettering. Interesting. I'm going to click on one and see. I mean, is, is it... I want to look at the bottom of this mug and see what is the factor with that. Or is it just that's the way it is? That's that. Okay. Hand-painted. It must have been the style that they were, you know, a lot of people were doing back then. Okay. The gold gilding. Yes, yes. Um, 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 okay. So, definitely look out for that as far as mugs go. Shaving mugs or mustache mugs. That's cool. All right. <laughs> this is what I do. I just, I get lost down the rabbit hole. Oh, I'm scrolling too fast. Somebody mentioned that in one of the... Y'all tell me in the chat, slow down, Margaret, because I do. I'll start scrolling really fast. Okay, so little foot, little handle, gold gilding especially. So look for that, okay? And, yes, yeah, shaving mugs and mustache mugs are two different items. This is true. All right. All right, so everybody's got a different business model, and that's cool. So there's that. Okay, so the next mug, this one I would say was, you know, I think I picked this mug up for, there was a place that I used to live next to that sold their, all their mugs were a quarter, which was amazing. It was like a little charity sh gift, sh charity shop, you know. And so, <sighs> 10 bucks. All right. This is, what is she, from the Netherlands? But I thought, you know what, let's look up royalty mugs, whether it's, British royal, English royalty, or wherever, and let's see, would they be worth, because honestly, a lot of the mugs that are, that come out of the UK, they <laughs> make so many of them, and I did another video about this, because there were some mugs that I was like, these are awesome, but then, I mean, it's just like they churn them out over there, like on a, I mean, it's and I, I watched a video about it, um, like a, not quite a documentary, and it was eye-opening <laughs> how many they put out. So let's say royalty mugs. Okay, I might even do like royalty souvenir. My, my, my G is sticking. There we go, royalty mugs. So let's look for solds and... Um, I agree, Ginny. I love the research. You learn so much, right? This is definitely a, I will say, profession where you get to learn a lot of different things. Okay, so I selected buy it now, and now I'm going to go select sold. Things you would never, you know, you learn so many different things. Okay, royalty mugs. So I had found some like this, you know, like 
ooh, Edward VIII, you know, coronation mugs, that's pretty old and cool. But once I started doing some research about those, I mean, they are really just on an assembly line. Like, So, as you can see, unless you find something, like here's a Queen Victoria mug, it's in there somewhere. Um, maybe if it's super old, that might be good. Um, but we'll search from highest to lowest in a little bit. But look, so if you're out there and you're like, oh, a princess, you know, Prince Charles and Princess Diana, that's got to be something, right? Because, you know, of all the history and stuff with them. No. Uh, double check it just in case, but no. Like, this is kind of a neat one. That one, we're going to just go, I don't know, this buy it now prices or best offer prices are kind of funky. So. so some of them, I mean, but no, not really. I guess if you got it for a quarter, like this one, but here, five bucks. I mean, they're really selling cheap. That one's kind of fun, but it's got these, it's a kneeling mug. That's different. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. Let's go search. It's going to scroll fast. Or, oh, you know what? Let me click the arrow. Um, let's do highest first and see. Sometimes it's a bolo for a win, and sometimes it's a maybe just keep walking, right? <laughs> so it's good to know either way so you're not wasting your time. Um, no, this is true, Jenny. Jenny says, I'm saving my Queen Elizabeth mugs for when she, she dies. I know it sounds bad, but that's when they'll find a little sell. You know, and it does sound bad, but it's true. Um, when somebody passes away, people really do look for their stuff. So, Bum Crack Picker says, I still have my Queen's Silver Jubilee Street Party 1977. Mass produced, handed out for free. <laughs> yeah. I have one that, uh, my, see, my, I'm going to go off on a little side story here. And if you've been watching me for a while, you may or may not know this. My grandmother passed away a couple years, well, maybe it's been five years, a few years ago. And she loved the queen. And she she and the queen were born the same year. And I don't know, she just loved her grit. And she, anyway, she, but the last, one of the last outings my grandmother and I um, went on together, we went, there's a British Isle store in the Rice Village in Houston. We went to the British Isle store, and my grandmother bought a Queen's Silver Jubilee mug, and that's one of the things I kept. It's in my workroom. So I won't sell it, even though when I looked it up, it was just like, it's not really selling for that much, but it just means so much, right? Okay, anyway, let's look at the mugs that sold highest to lowest. So we've got a World War I, Kaiser, German Emperor, Austria, okay. So maybe if you're finding one that is not... A British monarch. However, here's a Princess Charlotte in memory. Here is Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee. It's a set of four. Here's a Royal Dalton. That's the three-dimensional ones. And not all Royal Dalton ones go for that much money either, which is unfortunate. Here's a cool Wedgwood one. Okay, I would if I saw a Wedgwood. Wedgwood is really usually you can tell it by its style, where it's kind of like a bisque kind of color blue, sometimes pink. And then it'll have like this cameo style. Yeah. Okay, little feet. We saw one with little feet earlier, right? So I guess if you see one with little feet, that might be worth looking at. There's the Royal Dalton again. And <laughs> Harry and Meghan. Um, seems like they're always in trouble <laughs> for their faux pas. But okay. They're a match made in heaven, I guess. All right. So yeah, that looks like basically what we should be looking for right little feet little feet and the kaiser that sounds like it should be a children's story little feet and the kaiser all right let's move on <laughs> so that one there are a few bolos there but not a whole lot okay so the next mug i thought we'd look at this is a francoma mug francoma has got a very distinct style as well, um, and this is not necessarily one of Frank Homa's more well-known styles, but it's really kind of a thick mug, and like a stoneware almost, and then the inside of the mug, like this is a, a Jay-Z, Jay-Z, it'll have like sometimes a brown or a green, you know, sometimes there's green and brown, there's different, but usually there's two colors, and brown is usually on the inside, I think. Um, once you see it, you'll know it. And then the bottom says, let me get there, 
crank on my, oh. uh, So it's pretty uh, obvious when you see it. That's helpful anyway when you look at the bottom. Okay, so let's take a look at Francoma mugs. This one sold for $24.99 for me. And hang on, let me come back over here. J, Z, John, Z. And I think this is like a rancher or something like that. I, I can't exactly remember when I looked it up. Um, okay, so Frank, Francoma. And Francoma does more than just mugs. They do all kinds of pottery. Francoma mug green. Okay, so. Francoma Pottery Mug. Ooh, that's cute. But we're going to look at so sold. Sorry, you almost fell. <laughs> Let's. Ah, I don't want just yellow. Take that off. Okay, scrolling down. I am selecting Buy It Now. There's a lot that are up for sale. Did you see? Hang on, let me get back over there. So, look, there's 1,376 on Buy It Now. And then let's select sold. That little elephant is adorable. I have a hard time walking past that. Okay, let me see in the chat real fast. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jenny's talking about the royal family. Okay, so I'm looking. So here's what I'm talking about, that kind of like two-tone green-brown color. You can see this one right here, prairie green set of six. To me, like selling a set of six mugs for 26 bucks, I'm not poo-pooing somebody else's sale at all. But for me, I'm like, oh, that seems, it's not even the, pa the, li the listing of them. It would be the packaging of them. Even if, you know, they, they pay for the shipping, I just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what a hassle. But, um, okay, so let's just look and see, are Francoma mugs worth picking up to sell solo? So here, this one with a pedestal is, this one with the little elephant is, I'm thinking if I bought it for a dollar or less. That's what I'm going off of. I should have said that earlier. So if I would have spent a dollar or less on this mug, then to me, you know, $14.99 is probably a good $10 profit. Here's two for $38. I would do two for $38, okay? <laughs> Not six for $26. Is that weird? All right, but um, I don't know. I mean, if I picked up a mug for a quarter and it sold for 10 bucks. I'm okay with that, I think, you know? Of course, I would love to have mugs sell for more because they take up some space. But like these two, these cool Mayan Aztec mugs sold for 25 bucks. Yeah, I mean, this one's kind of neat with the little pedestal and it's a Oklahoma, Oklahoma State emblem. So we'll go back and look in just a second. See, here's some more of that orange and brown. Some are okay. Tell me what your go-to price is for mugs in the chat. And if you're watching later, like, for you, what's make or break? Like, if you bought a, a mug for a quarter, is 10 bucks like, eh, that's only 10 bucks. You know, or are you like, okay, that's cool. Or do you like, no, I have to, I won't spend more than a dollar, and it has to sell for $20 or more. Like, do you have those kind of guidelines? Or are you like, no, whatever. Just, because <laughs> I feel like there are people that, there are people that are very, rigid in their business. I don't want to say it sounds bad if I say that rigid, but they have very, you know, and it's smart business planning. And then there are people like me that are just like, hey, <laughs> let's go for it. Let's give it a try. I'm not like that with everything though. So whatever. This drill one is kind of neat. It's like, looks like a drill bit. That one's 25. I think stuff with drill bits, I, I've, I've had tie tacks that look like drill bits that have sold for good, you know, a good profit. Let's see, these tall ones seem to do, we saw some tall ones too earlier that seem to do okay. And here's a face one. Okay, I'm gonna go search highest to lowest. I think this kind of like brown green one where they kind of fade into each other, like those ones, it doesn't seem like are doing quite as well. They look a little more, kit not kitschy, but. Mm. Okay, let's look at highest price and I'm going to look in the chat and see what you customer pays shipping yeah I I don't do free shipping and I'll come back in the chat to see what everyone says about that all right so here is hmm this one's oh it's Ford Nixon I was like I've seen elephant ones before maybe because this one has Ford and Nixon on it as far as political parties go 
What else do we see here? Here's a set of dog ones. Okay, I would sell a lot for $127. I'd suck it up and deal with shipping. Here's three. I probably would have sold those solo. I don't know about you, but that's just me. Um, drill bit. Okay, drill bit $69.99. Mayan Aztec for $50 bucks for those five. Ten of them for $50. I'm just imagining shipping that. I guess you get a big enough box and enough bubble wrap. You can do anything, Margaret. <laughs> you can ship anything. Okay. There's these elephant ones. Okay. As you can see, I'm thinking like, what do we see up here? The one that had the drill bit, the taller mugs, and looks like the elephant maybe. There's another ranch one. Okay. So Frank, don't necessarily, oh look, here's a mustache mug. Mustache and Franco mug, we've got a, a cross-section <laughs> hipster. But you can see, like, there's a little hole, and then there's an air, oh, it even says mustache mug on it. How sweet, they let us know. <laughs> right off the bat, they let us know. GOP, okay. Democrat, GOP, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's some cool ones in there. So... <clears throat> all right moving on I'm gonna come back to the chat and we'll jump in and talk about all that stuff so this mug let me see how I want to do this scoot it over so y'all can see it better that didn't really work did it there we go okay so this was a mug that was not I don't think it was oh it was Martin Navy on the back okay because I couldn't remember if it was just had the anchor on it and this is when I was trying out free shipping, so you can see it says free shipping there. <sighs> I like this mug, so I'm not sorry. But I wish I didn't do free shipping, because <laughs> that really cuts into the profit, right? Because um, I probably shipped this, you know, padded flat rate envelope. So that was probably, at the time, probably six, six or seven bucks. All right, so let's go over here and do U.S. Navy mug. U.S. Navy mug and see if some of our military mugs would sell. Now, my dad was in the Navy, and he was on the USS whatever, and he wanted, you know, like he would look for stuff from his, what was he on, whatever you call it, ship, the ship that he was on. And so, like, he has a hat with it, and if you find one with a specific ship or vessel, it it might it would probably sell, but it might you might have to wait a little longer because that, you have to wait for the person that was on that boat to come along and want it. You know, here's the Kincaid Navy Destroyer. All right, let's go take a peek at Solds and buy it now. So there's a buy it now. I wonder if it's kind of like the Boy Scout mugs we were talking about the other day. Where it was like, there's certain Boy Scout camps and it's like, I guess you'd have to have gone to that camp and really be looking for that particular mug to really want that. So here's like USS Proteus. I hope I'm saying that right. So these are just recently sold ones. Sorry, my throat's kind of dry. You know, depending on how much you've bought them for, it's not a terrible, but I, like I said, I have a feeling, especially some of these that are very specific as far as the boat that it was was it would take a little while probably for it to sell you know USS Carl Vinson not just just not anybody's gonna want that but that you would think that would make the price a little bit higher but I guess not alright so USS Constellation that's pretty cool hmm so yeah I'm gonna go in just a second and search highest to lowest I saw a Stein one up there but see here, Fair Con Ron 3 Rare. Okay, I don't know. What do you think? What is your insight as far as military style stuff? See, because that, I mean, here we go, Iwo Jima, but I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. But that's got a lot of historical significance. You know what I mean? If it's just like a random USS Michigan, your grandpa had to have been on that boat, or, you know what I mean? And then I saw another one earlier that looked like this style, that the, looked like a Stein. Um, that seemed to have done okay. All right, I'm going to zip back to the top. Whoop, and let's do 
highest to lowest and see how this goes. I'm enjoying this, so I'm probably going to do this again. I'll probably grab five more of my souls and we'll, we'll dive in. Okay, so here we go. Highest to lowest, that, like I said, here's that Stein, Iwo Jima. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Again, there's another one of that. So USS Mount Whitney. I don't know if there's a um, historical significance for that. But like I said, I feel like you could ask your price if they're, you know, if it's a particular boat. Because if somebody's on that one and they want that one, it seems like the price should be able to be a little bit more. But here are more like these Stein style, the taller ones. Um, let me look in the chat, make sure I'm not. Yeah, my dad was in Vietnam. He was on a boat, a repair vessel. He did a lot of repairs. So, yeah, okay. That one's kind of cool. That looked like a ward room. Looked like it was one maybe they would use on the boat. That's cool. Set of six. All right, so it's looking like the Stein ones are probably the ones, if you're out and you see one, are the best bet. They're a little bit taller. Or if it's if it's a, a, a battle or a ship that you have heard of and you're not an expert like me, I'm not an expert, but I know some of these. Um, yeah, okay. So there is that. And I see questions in the chat and I, I'm not ignoring them. I'll be back to talk about them. Da, da, da. Okay, so I've got one more that I've pulled up for you guys. And I've, I've kind of held back from buying souvenir mugs from specific places, but I'm wondering to myself if I should start again. So this is one that I picked up. I think I just got it because it had the devil and it said greetings from hell. Uh, so, and I'm trying to figure out how to research this because so if I if I type in travel mug, then tr like travel mugs are gonna show up. Souvenir mug. Let's type in souvenir mug. Souvenir. We'll start with that souvenir mug. What else could I? Because I mean, yeah, I could put in Grand Cayman, but I wanna know what other mugs from say I don't know where else. You know, you went somewhere and you got a mug from that place and then you lost it or you broke it, you know. But if I type in travel mug, okay, I'm thinking about this. How can I, see like Smoky Mountain souvenir mug. But these aren't sold. Let's go look at solds. And then maybe we'll get some better ideas. Solds, let's look at buy it now. Um, all right. So here we have Cape May Lewis Ferry Crossing. Look, somebody bought that for $14.99. SeaWorld. Okay. Um, this London one. See, London mugs are like, there's so many of them. I don't even usually. South of the Border, that one, yeah, $4.99. So, what can we do? We could just type in a random Soviet poster, a random place. What do you say? Let's type in destination, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. But I'm just thinking, like, let's say you're out. Y'all are saying type in Devil Mug, type in Grand Cayman. But my thing is, like, if you saw a mug that was from Galveston. Okay, let's pick Galveston. Would it sell? Or would it, let, like, Destin? Let's do Destin. Right, Destin, Florida. You know, would it be worth that? I'm missing calls over here. So, you know, there's a soul for Destin. I don't know. Uh, you know, or let's just do Florida souvenir mug. Because then maybe, I don't know, maybe it was just the devil. Was it just like a flute? That it was a random, like, fun novelty mug? You know, there's one that's kind of cool. I don't know. I mean, but again, that's like six gun territory, Silver Springs, Florida. But it looks like wood and it's all funky. I mean, so that makes sense, right? I think. Okay. Let's type in, what's another place? <laughs> oh, Idaho. Let's do Idaho. Souvenir mug. I guess people go to Idaho. 
<laughs> um, Coeur d'Alene, that's not far from where my aunt and uncle lives. Um, but it just has Coeur d'Alene on it, right? There's cows. It says Idaho. I don't know. I guess, I think it's if it's just like, hang on. Are we having problems with that Alexa again? Okay. So, yeah, I think it would have to be a really funky, kind of fun mug um, for that. Okay, let me see if I can pop the chat out here next to me while I'm talking to you. Do, 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 so that we can, if you're watching later, you can still kind of see it on the screen. Let me scoot me over. And then I'll go through the chat. Come on now. I have it locked. Hang on, I just turned me off. There we go. There we go. Okay, let me go through back through the chat real fast and see um, any questions or things so we can dive into that. Um, Claire says this past week, great mug sales for me. Sold a Maramico mug for 25 plus shipping. Oh, and I want to say if you're done and you're like, okay, I got all the info. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go look at the comments and questions in the chat and we'll go from there. Okay. So that's where we're talking about souvenir mug, no, mustache mug, shaving mugs. Da, 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 da. Okay. So I've already read that part. I did that part. Hi, watching. Hi, 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 everybody. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, there's so much drama. And Jenny says in the English royal family, it seems like everybody's, you know, Royal, everybody's dysfunctional family. Totally, totally. Um, See, so Jenny says, the only Frank Oma mug I keep my eyes peeled for are the tiki ones. They sell for good money. Oh, hundreds. Sweet. Jenny says, she's had the donkey and the elephant, elephant Frank Oma mugs up for two years. They're duds. Oh, dear. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, Zachary says, how good is, is Starbucks mugs? It depends on the mug, and it depends on how much you can get it for. Yeah. So, Jenny says she finds Frank Oma all the time. Oh, cool. I don't. So Ginny says, 50 cents is my cap unless I know for sure they're valuable. And Zachary says that he likes getting the mugs for two bucks at most. And let's see. Th Julie, Thrifty Paper Garden, said, I sold three tall Starbucks mugs lately, sold for about 50, 40, and 30. Packaged crazy, yeah. <laughs> really wrap those babies up. So, oh, I'll have to go back and look at the Tiki Francoma. Usually, Zachary says buy smugs for a buck at Goodwill. And Trish, she says, I try to stay under a buck 99 and sell for between 10 and 25. Yeah, depending on the brand. All right, so Lori says, $1 mugs cost $12 sell basic guidelines. Okay, cool. And I'm looking. Oh, yeah, so true on those boats. This is true. Da, da, da. Hang on. I just jumped. Jenny says, my favorite boat mugs are the reproductions for the White Star Line, which are Titanic mugs. She used, you found four, and they sold very quickly. And Zachary's asking, is it better to sell mugs on auction or buy it now? I would probably do buy it now because, well, unless it was something really valuable, that there would be a lot of people bidding on it. But that's just me personally. I think I've only done one auction lately, and it was for, like, a Star Wars figure that was broken. And I was like, let's just see what happens. <laughs> Um, Kelly says, military mugs and Kentucky Derby glasses. I'll have to look at that. Uh, devil mugs. How many mugs do I have in my inventory, Fat Elvis Good says. At the moment, I don't know. A couple. Not a lot. I have a lot more sitting in there that need to be photographed and listed. I know that's for sure. I have more that need to be listed than are actually listed. So, <laughs> that's, what, that's where that is. But they've been selling pretty quickly. The last few that I've, I've had up sold pretty quickly. Jenny says that mug will sell because of the devil, not the place you think. Yeah, souvenir destination mug. I think if it's a kitschy, fun, funky, weird souvenir mug. If it's just like, it says Grand Canyon on it, or it says Destin, Florida, maybe, in a, you know, or if it's a weird named place, you know, because that place was called hell, so. Um... It would be cool if you could see how long the mug was listed whenever you, or when you see the sold prices on eBay. It'd be cool to, if it also said, P.S., this has been up for three years, right? 
Jenny says Alaska might sell well for me. That would make sense because, like, if you go on a cruise or you're flying to Alaska to, to go on a cruise and you're coming home, you maybe pack a mug or you don't because it's you don't want it to break and you get one later, you know. Um, yeah, Julie says, I always think about how someone who is looking for it would look for it if it's obscure. I'd do 25 or best offer or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Have you talked about how to ship mugs yet? I have. I've done a, I've done a, an older video where I show how I ship my mugs. But basically, and I can, I feel like I did one recently. Maybe I, I need to redo it again. But I put my mugs, depending on the size, if it's a smaller mug, in a, I bubble wrap it, put it in a 6x4x4 by four by four box. And then I put it in a padded flat rate envelope and tape it up. If it's a bigger one, then I just use an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight box. Yeah. So... Nola says, just found a Portland Starbucks mug at Goodwill for 40 cents. It was like finding a unicorn. Nice. Are mugs steady incoming cash? They can be if you've got enough of them up there. And for me, I don't. <laughs> so I need to get more up there. Okay. They would be if I had more up. I would say that. All right. Um, I would love to thank everybody for coming to hang out and listen to um, the different things that have sold for me and if they would sell again. So some are yes, some are no's. And uh, so it was good information moving forward. I will definitely be back to share five more mugs that I have sold and talk about if they would sell again. And if so, for how much? And I will, oh yeah, and Ginny does have a Facebook page called Mug of the Week that has lots of bolos shared by its members. So definitely go check that out. And I, I'm i also on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I'm on Instagram, but I'm really bad about posting. But I'm there as well. So if you're interested, then go over and join all those groups. And I will see you guys on the next one. And let me know in the comments like if you enjoyed this style. And I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody. I'm trying to end the screen. I'm not sure. It's